Welcome to Cultivating Connections. My name is Jane Lazat. I am the principal of Sherwood Middle School here in Shrewsbury. And I am here to share with the community some of our students' perspectives, students in grades 1 through 12, regarding what it is and who it is that fills their bucket each day they are in school. We have interviewed and met with some of our students across the district to find out specifically what it is that adults do each day that make a positive difference to their lives. And we hope that you enjoy hearing from our students. Thank you. So Cadence, thank you so much for being here today. And uh, I look forward to learning from you some things that happen here at Patton School and some people here at Patton School that bring joy to your day. In other words, what fills your bucket when you get off the bus or out of your car and into the school in the morning? Well, I see my friend Ruby and the reason she makes me happy is because in second grade we met here at Patton and usually um, when we see each other we think of good memories that we've had here okay. and we've been in the same class from second to third grade for two years and now we meet on the playground so we can see each other. Excellent. And what are some things that teachers or faculty do or say that help students meet other students and make new friends, whether that's in the classroom or at recess time? Well, my teacher, um, Miss Howig, she'll usually tell us jokes and she'll make us all laugh. That sounds like a lot of fun. And can you talk to us a little bit about, um, yeah, I know you have Patton Pride meetings here. Can you t tell me a little bit about what those what happens at those meetings and how they involve students? Well, we sing um, the happy birthday song for like, if it was September, whoever's whoever has a birthday in September, they would stand up and we would the rest of us that are sitting down would sing the happy birthday song to them. Sounds like fun. And we would talk about how kindness counts in our school. And, and can you tell me more about that? What does that mean, how kindness counts? So like how, um, like what fills up our bucket. Great. And mm -hmm. um, we'll read like books about how people are like kind in that book. Excellent. And um, how does Patton School reach out to families? Are families invited into the school? Um, yeah, so usually when... Um, in August, when we come to see our classrooms that we're going to be in, our f families come so they can see like where we sit and all of that. Excellent. And like if we have presentations that are like really important, then our families will be able to come. That sounds like a lot of fun and a good yeah. learning experience for everybody. So when your bu bucket isn't feeling so full, it's kind of feeling pretty empty. What do you do here at school? What strategies do you use? What um, people do you reach out to? Um, well, on the playground, there's a buddy bench that was built last year from fourth graders. And if you don't have any friends to play with, then you mm -hmm. can go sit on the buddy bench and somebody will come and ask you to play. Oh, that's terrific. We heard about the Buddy Bank at Sherwood this year. Some Patton students were talking about it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thinking with us today and all of those great experiences. Who's your teacher? Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell? Okay, can you tell me about Mr. Campbell? Yeah. Tell me about him. So, he's a third grade teacher. I had to go down here once. You had to go down here once? Yeah. And, okay. What do you play at recess? Ball. 
You play ball at recess? Mm-hmm. Who do you play with at recess? When, when did he go in the yard? I can't remember on the end of the other one. Okay. And is it baseball or wall ball? No, it's soccer. Soccer? Yeah. Uh, tell me about playing soccer at recess. So we get all together, go up, go, go come in here and say, we ask, is it okay we play wall ball on time? And they call, and then, and then, and then, and we play. Oh, great. So you ask permission of, of an adult, and then they say yes, and then you go and play? Yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about, um, Richard, about your Pat and Pride meeting, what you do at Pat and Pride meetings? So, this year, it's all, all school meeting. All school meeting. So tell me, what happens at all school meeting? Everyone gets to come down to the class. Well, um, go to the gym and then sit down and we have it. Richard, thank you so much for talking to me today. You're welcome. Tuana, thank you for being here today. I am looking to know more about what fills your bucket at school. Can you tell me about some ways in which people and things that happen at Patton School bring you joy and make you want to try harder and learn more? So every single day when I come into school, um, there's a board which says a morning message about something kind to do or something about yourself. And there are teachers next to the board and I, I really like saying good morning to them and they say good morning back to me, and then it just makes me feel really happy, and it's a good starting to the day. That is a good starting to the day. And who writes the message on the board for everyone to read? Miss Bell writes the message on the board every single day. Oh, that's fabulous. Can you tell me what happens after that, after you enter the building, where do you go? Who do you see? What are some things that you do that, um, again, bring you joy and help you learn? So when I go up the stairs to my classroom, I see my friends. And sometimes I see other, other, other of my friends in different classes. And, I, and we go talk for a little while. And then... I go into my classroom and I see Mrs. Carlson and when I see her she she smiles and she says good morning to me and I say good morning back to her. Outstanding. Are there activities here at Patton in which you like to get involved? I really like um, recess when we play wall ball because I get to play with all the boys and it's really fun when a person gets out because everyone starts screaming, you're out. (laughs) That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And Tuana, when you don't feel so good, when that bucket is not feeling so full, what are some things you do to make your bucket more full and um, who do you reach out to or who reaches out to you? How do you feel better about your day when we hit those bumps that we all hit each day? When I talk with my friends and they say something like really funny, it makes me laugh and it changes the day around. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. That's it. You did a great job. You're welcome. Drew, thank you for being here with us today. I really appreciate your help. Um, And congratulations on being elected to student council. Thank you. That's a big role and responsibility. Can you start by talking to me a little bit about why you were interested in running for student council? Um, I was interested for running for student council because I think I'm a good leader and I think I could help go to school. Excellent. And what are some things that have helped you be a good leader? Or who are some people here at Coolidge School who have helped you and encouraged you along the way? A lot of my teachers, my teachers, and the, just everyone here has helped. 
Wonderful. all the specials and um, homeroom teachers. Great. Um, Drew, can you talk to us a bit about what it is at Coolidge School that makes you feel happy, that makes you feel like you want to learn more and more and do better and better, um, and things that fill your bucket? Well, um, when I come into school every day, someone always greets me, and they, you, they greet you a lot by your name, and it feels great when they greet you by your name. You feel noticed, and it's always good to feel noticed. It's always good to feel noticed. So when you walk into the building, there are adults here. They greet you by name. Yeah. What happens after you walk into the building? Where do you go? and? What happens um, from that point on? Well, we go to um, our classroom. We do morning work until 9 o'clock. Okay. And then they'll do morning announcements. Now, you told me um, at some point that here at Coolidge, the students do the morning yeah. announcements. Can you tell us how students are chosen to do those announcements and what are some things that are shared during that time? Um, well, the students are chosen. Um, by like the class they're in, and then one uh, one class will do it for like a couple of weeks, and then they'll keep switching. So usually everyone gets to do it, almost everyone. And they'll um, share like what's happening in the school, um, like some of the good things kids are doing, and just good things. And you've had a chance to be a morning announcer. Yes, I have. And how does that feel when you're in that position? It feels good, but... <laughs> Why does it feel good? It's just fun to, like, the whole school hears you, and it's cool. Good. You know you're having an impact on yeah. everyone at the beginning of the day, which is, that is cool. T can you talk to me a bit about um, your all-school meetings here at Coolidge? What happens? Who gets involved? And how that helps you bring the community or how it helps Coolidge be a stronger school yeah. community? Well, everyone comes to all school meeting and all students have the opportunity to um, volunteer to like sing or dance or do something special in all school meeting that they have a talent for and that we share like we get to hear them and then sometimes they share a lot um, what's happening in the school, and then um, how, like, what's been going on and what's going to happen at school. Wonderful. And as you think about Coolidge School um, and you think about students who come new to the school, what are you most proud of having to do with the school community? It's just cool to see, like, all the kids come here and, um, they're all so um, happy. Happy. And then it's cool to see like all the different people from like everywhere and it's just cool to see them all. Excellent. Great. Now Drew, when you aren't feeling so well at school, um, you're just having one of those days that's not a really happy day, what do you, who can you turn to here at Coolidge School or what do you do that makes you feel better? Well, we have a lot of um, we have a take a break chair if you need like time. A take a break chair you can yep. just go to? Yep, and that helps uh, some people. Great. And then we have teachers um, throughout the school and they're all really nice. So that helps everyone and you can go to them. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts today. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Thank you for being with me today and sharing some great things that are happening here at Coolidge that make you feel happy and help you learn. I would love it if you could tell me a bit about what it is that fills your bucket every day when you come to Coolidge School. It's just like when, when we come in, everyone usually my teacher always usually like greets us in the morning. It makes me feel happy. Wonderful. And um, when you're in your classroom, you told me 
a bit about um, morning meeting and what happens there. Can you tell us what goes on at morning meeting? So you come to the rug, you clean up after morning announcements, and um, then you um, share like either like you do a high five around the circle or something like that, and then. Um, it's share day, so some like some people get to share with, with their words whatever um, they want to, and then there's questions, and they get to pick two questions, and there's like a couple people, and then we have an activity, so um, it's like ones like like me, so like somebody says something like them, and then if you like get two, then you stand up, okay. and then we do calendar, so that's like what's. Um, what's the what's the weather? Um, what today is? What was yesterday? And um, uh, what is today? And um, we also do like um, is it hot? Is it cold? What's the weather today? And um, we stick um, a thing onto our calendar to how many days, and we tell them which is the month and um, the days of the week and the day. Excellent. Wonderful. How do you make friends here at Coolidge? Um, what are some things that help you make friends? Some well, I just ask on? some people that I think that will be good friends. and You I ask them what? What do you say? Do you want to be friends? And then um, they answer me. And then if they say no, then I try to find another pierce person that I think that will be good friends with me. Great. I am wondering, when you get stuck on, or you're confused by something in math or science or reading, what do you do? Well, you sh first you um, try to figure out it by yourself, and then if you're not, you ask a friend, and if they can't help you, you ask the teacher. Great. Those are great strategies to use. Can you, um, I have one more question for you. What are you most happy about? Here at Coolidge, what what it, what makes you most happy as you, when you're here? We got a compliment from one of our friends that everyone was nice in this class, and it just makes me feel so good that everyone greets me in the morning. Um, it just makes me feel so good, and I like feeling that way. Uh, terrific! Thank you so much, Mega, for speaking with us today. I hope you have a great weekend.